Blizzard's newest game, Overwatch, is finally here, and one thing that Blizzard is known for is littering their games with all kinds of references to pop culture, history, mythology, and even their own games. So I thought it'd be fun to see just how many of these I could catch. To start, let's talk fun stuff with pop culture references. The character McCree is a walking embodiment of all things Western, especially TV and film. His gambler skin is based off of Val Kilmer's depiction of Doc Holliday in the movie Tombstone, as well as one of his lines coming from the movie, I'm your huckleberry. Another of his lines directly references the spaghetti western film The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, and his mystery man skin may be a reference to the radio, TV, and terrible movie character The Lone Ranger. There's also a lot of love for the 80s in this game. Zarya's line in Russia Game Plays You is a reference to the joke stylings of 80s Russian comedian Yakov Smirnov. Farah's line, Fly Like an Egyptian, is based on the 80s song Walk Like an Egyptian by the Bengals, which was accompanied by a dance that is just as terrible as it sounds. And Zenyatta's taunt emote uses the crane stance, which is best known in pop culture as that awkward stance Ralph Macchio keeps using in the original Karate Kid. There's also a little bit of love for the 60s and 70s. Soldier 76's appropriately named Daredevil skin is based on the motorcycle Daredevil Evil Knievel, and Winston's line, Don't Get Me Angry, is probably a slightly reworded reference to one of the most popular lines to come from the 70s Hulk TV show. Don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Blizzard, of course, also managed to cram in some references to their own games. The characters Widowmaker and Reaper bear some similarities to the StarCraft unit's Ghost and Reaper. Reinhardt's line Crusader Online is a reference to a similar line spoken by StarCraft Goliaths, and his Lionheart skin bears similarities to Alliance armor from Warcraft. Meanwhile, the character Torbjorn is a walking Warcraft reference, bearing a striking resemblance to Warcraft dwarves despite being Swedish, not Scottish, though he could also be based on Blizzard's older property, The Lost Vikings. And his ultimate is named after one of the original endgame raids of World of Warcraft, Molten Core. There's also multiple references to gaming culture outside of specifically just Blizzard games. The character D.Va is a walking, talking meta reference to esports and video game culture, with most of her lines being references to common gaming chat terms like GG, AFK, and LOL. Hanzo's line, I choose you spirit dragon, is clearly a Pokemon reference. Farah's line, Rocket Jump, references the popular gaming move of performing a super jump in FPS games by using a rocket launcher, which dates back as far as Quake 3. And Lucio's line, You Gotta Believe, might be a reference to Parappa the Rappa, who would start each song with the line, I Gotta Believe. One video game reference that's probably just me reaching too far is that Mercy's Valkyrie skin, which is obviously a reference to the Norse mythological figure, may more specifically be a reference to the character Sumeria from Valkyrie Profile, sporting the same color palette and very similar armor motifs but that just might be coincidence of same origin. Other cultural references include Reaper's Nevermore skin calling back to the Edgar Allan Poe poem The Raven, while his Mariachi skin may be a reference to the movie series of the same name. Winston's Thinker pose is based on the same titled statue. Zenyatta's line, I think therefore I am, is one of the most famous quotes from the philosopher Descartes. Junkrat's epic skins might be a reference to the more unhinged Batman villains Joker and Scarecrow, and May's line, you have to let it go, is clearly referencing the Disney film Frozen, who plagued all of our minds with the phrase let it go for years after its release. Now, if we want to get real scholarly, several of the game's epic skins reference mythological creatures and gods. Most notably, Zenyatta's Jinn skin, based on the Arabian mythological spirit, his Ra skin, based on the Egyptian god, and Symmetra's Devi and Goddess skins bear resemblance to the Hindu goddess Kali. And to go really in-depth, Bastion's highlight intro titled Ganymede is a reference to a Greek figure and hero, known for being one of the most beautiful humans and was at one point kidnapped by Zeus using an eagle, though clearly that's not happening in Bastion's case. So that's pretty much all the ones I could find. Knowing Blizzard, there are a ton more that I missed because I just have no idea what they're referencing, so let me know down in the comments what ones you guys have caught. As always guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.